Hey now, so welcome back to another slay. Now, if y'all want to see how I achieve this boy to beat transformation, keep on watching. All right, first things first, my client has textured skin, y'all, so you definitely want to wipe off any oils. That's just with anybody, any skin type. But you really want to wipe off any oils that your client has on their face. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to basically make sure his brows are laid down and powder them so that no oil will transfer through the brows throughout the day. I'm going into my Precisely Brow Pencil from Benefit in the shade 3.75 and I'm going to sketch out his brows. I want to take MAC Pro Lone Wear and NC45 Concealer to carve out his brows. So I went in with P. Louise Base in the shade number 7 and to carve out his brows and give it that skin like look. I want to use number 7 and 5 in P. Louise Base. your flat brushes out y'all y'all already know the routine i want to take a flat brush and inglots 299 shadow and pack this on the outer reed of his eyelids the fluffy brush I'm going to go into my 39A from Morphe palette and taking that shade right there and I'm going to go into my Zulu palette from Juvia's Place and use that shade combined together and pack this on top of the first shade that I laid down. Don't forget to use the code Beanery for Juvia's Place y'all. Y'all get some money off. Cha ching cha cheese. So the last shade I mixed up was those two shades and then I took a yellow to make this faded, I don't know, this Dexter Caramely Brownie, I don't know, <laughs> transition is fire y'all, I love that transition. I did it on myself and then turned out mom too, but I love 
these transition colors right here so next what i want to do is basically go back in with each shade except for the third one and deepen it up My client got a beat, no cut, which means I didn't cut the crease. I just basically put the shadows on as is. I remember I used to struggle with these. Remember when y'all used to tell y'all, I was like, I don't really know how to do these, but shoot, I, I love these because <laughs> they so quick to do. And I'm just basically taking the last shade, y'all, and fading it in the outer V area, on the outer V area. Now I'm taking this pretty shade. It's like a silvery shade silvery gold and I'm putting this in the inner corner I think this was out of the Juvia's Place palette the Warriors palette as most of these shades came from the Warriors palette from Juvia's Place once again use my code Marie for some money off and also use a fluffy brush when applying the lid shade y'all it's going to blend and it's not going to look like harsh so what I'm doing here is taking my NYX matte liquid liner and I am going to wing his liner Now my client asked for glitter that is so pretty like so simple and he has hooded eyelids y'all so if y'all ever want to see somebody that you know can wear makeup with hooded eyelids this is a tutorial for you so i'm just placing this glitter on and i use my um heavy metal from urban decay to place the glitter on top because it has like glitter in it and it's like a sticky consistency so y'all i'm also putting on lashes that i had i had some old lashes but i'm putting them on him and i am going to start this face be sure to wipe any glitter off of the face i am going to apply primer and i use becca primer poreless primer and then he loves this stuff right here this is a milk of magnesia y'all um sometimes i use on clients but sometimes i don't because I, don't, I mean it's okay but it does have your makeup sitting on your face like forever so I use this cuz he wanted it and I am gonna go in with cover girls foundation I will leave all the stuff for the face in the description right below because I totally forget and I definitely ain't finna get up and get it <laughs> but check the description right below y'all to see what I use on his face but this brush I love this brush for foundation I don't know why I pass it so hard what the hell I don't know, I probably was doing some, some I don't know, get some off his face or something. <laughs> Hey, I'm watching the playback. It's funny as hell because <laughs> it's so scary to be up under somebody's ass. So I can get the reaction, but I'm used to it. But he was kind of scared because he probably was like, uh-uh, this ain't about to go in my ass. So I'm putting glitter under his eyes. I put uh, mermaid scales glitter under his eyes and some of the glitter that I use on his eyelids. So now I'm just wiping off the face, getting ready. Ooh, daddy. Okay. <laughs> getting ready for the contour, highlight, and blush, y'all. Don't forget to go check in the description right below to see exactly what I use.
Also, I am going back in to fill in his eyebrows and I also went in with Pitch Lip Liner from ColourPop. Those two colors, my favorite liquid lipstick and sand. And I went in here and put some clear gloss on top of this beat, okay? Cause it came out so pretty. So don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, hit that like button, and I'll see you guys on the next tutorial.